All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're checking out another music bot called Kenabot, which I found when I was looking around the Discord app directory, which you can find under your server settings, just says app directory. And then when I was looking around for music bots, I found Kenabot, which is actually one of four bots that you can invite to your server, all of them for free. And if you look on their website, you can see that you can add, well, first off, you can add the bot either from the website by clicking the big add me button, or you can do it through the Discord app directory, which is how I prefer to add my bots these days. And it tells you all about the bot. It's got four different versions you can add to the server. It's on all of these lovely looking servers, and it's got slash commands, which pretty much every bot should by now, because I think this year, Discord's gonna start kicking off bots that just use prefixes. And then it plays from a variety of platforms, Spotify, Deezer, SoundCloud, Twitch, and Apple Music. And many more, I, I think it's actually just those though. Um, and then it says it's got bot configuration, you can do certain configuration from a dashboard on the website, and if you pay for it, you get to stream live audio from Twitch, and you get access to a web music player as well. So I'm gonna open up the slash commands list, that'll become important in a moment. And then however you decide to add Kenabot to your server, like I just clicked add to server here, it'll pop up in your server and you can start using it. And it's right here, uh, looks like it's not necessarily uh, an English first uh, bot, but it, uh, the whole website's in English, so I'm assuming it does multi-language pretty well. And uh, yeah, let's see how it does. So I'm already in a audio channel, but if you're not already in an audio channel, most music bots like it when you are, when you start to use them or they get grumpy. And then I'm gonna type in slash help. Now, there's kind of good news and bad news. The help command works, but the bad news is the help command is not helpful, like almost at all. So normally when I type in a help command, I like to see the actual list of commands. I don't really care about the rest of this information. Like if I want premium for something, I generally can assume that it's available and I'll go to your website. So like just have like a, a button down here that says premium or a button that says like the website, and then a button that says support server. And that's all you really need. But if you go into the website, you can kind of see that it's got your standard set of commands to play music, to do some basic configuration. And it also has something here called session which allows you to create a music listening session that has a code that tells you which ones of these features are actually set up so that you have to have premium in order to use them. 24 seven mode, the block feature, the unblock feature, those are things that you need uh, premium for, along with audio filters. And then it also has a list of configuration stuff, which appears to just be, um, pinging the server to see what the bot's ping is and some basic configuration settings. But most of what I'm interested in is the music. Does it play music and how well does it play the music? So let's pop back over here. And let's type in slash play Alan Walker Dreamer. I'm doing this first by the name. And if you look here when I'm typing this in, I type in slash play Alan Walker. It'll actually bring up a list of matching song titles that I can pick from. So I can say like faded. I was going to play dreamer, but I've actually got other options here. So let's type in, let's go with faded because I haven't listened to faded in a while. And then I can just start adding other stuff to the queue. Oh, wow. That's loud. Hold on. I always forget that these bots start like way louder than I want them to. So now I can type in uh, Alan. Walker Dreamer. And then I'll just add that to my queue. And then like a lot of other bots, I can just view the queue as it is. It's currently playing Faded, followed by Dreamer, and nothing else because I haven't added it to the list. But I've got some others off screen here. Let's add slash play. Syntact. Ego, and then we'll also play Plague Home. 
There we go. So now we have a selection and then we can type in Q. And then can I remove? Yes, I can. I can remove number two from the list. So the Q controls are very snappy. This is all working very quickly. The audio quality is nice. The song started immediately. What happens when I skip to the next song? Okay, so it skips pretty well. There's also button controls. So I would say out of the box as just a, a, a music player, Kenabot's got what you need. But there are a couple other questions that I have about this bot. So let's go ahead and pause this bad boy. So what other major commands are we probably interested in? So all the basic commands here work. We can type in like now playing slash now playing. And that tells me if we're playing dreamer. Um, doesn't tell me who the song is by. And if I click on this, it brings up Spotify. So it looks like it's playing these songs from Spotify by default, because when I click this, it tries to launch Spotify on my computer, which I didn't realize was installed on my computer, so today I learned. Um, so that's always fun to see. And then I have things like I can invite the bot, I can add filters and shuffle, change the volume. I don't generally bother with the volume controls because I just right click them and I drag in the, the volume for my personal listening a volume on this bot. So like, I'll just reduce it by like to like 40 and not worry about it. But if you want, you can type in the volume. And how does this like its volume set zero to 100? So we could set this to like 40 if we wanted, or we can type back to volume to 100. All right, that's not bad. It's not all automatically translated to English for me, but I've used enough of these bots to tell what it's trying to communicate to me. So that's not really a big deal. Now, the major question I'm curious about is what are sessions? What are they? Are we joining a cult or are we like starting some sort of robot uprising? Let's type in session and we have the option to create, delete, info, join or leave. So let's create a session and let's call it test. So you have created a session, which is a listen together, Kenna together, send the invitation code to your friends to join your session. Oh, okay. So this is like a listen together party that goes across servers to all the people that have Kenna, but okay. That's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type in session delete. Oh, I mean, that was not the functionality that I was expecting. It might be a good idea for you guys to actually say what a session is on your website because, well, this is the big list of your commands and the functions that they do. And all it says is slash session creates a Kenna together session and says literally nothing about it beyond that. Okay, so it's a listen party. The other stuff that you can do in here is we can check the status of the bot. We can also ping the bot. What's the bot's current ping? 104 milliseconds or, or one MS, which isn't bad. Let's see status. Okay. So that's like the shard information about how the servers are doing that it runs off of. All of them are currently connected and running with very low latency. So that's really nice to see. Okay. So what happens when I resume the music? Oh, it resumes it just fine. Then we can type in skip again. If we want, uh, what's the queue like? Do I still have anything in the queue? I do. But I'm going to clear the queue because we're only listening to dreamer today. Apparently. Um, I don't know. It's a good bot. It, it's very responsive. It's free. Uh, it's got really decent or good. So yeah, Kenabot, it's a good music player. It's responsive. It's got good audio quality. It doesn't have a lot of pointless frills or confusing commands. It just plays music, gives you the option to have some premium commands and has 
a, a listen together functionality that allows you to host like a listen together party with your friends who also use Kennebot. Kind of not really a feature I've ever thought I wanted or needed, but I do know people like using those Spotify listen together parties where other people can listen to what you're listening to. Uh, it's just kind of a fun way to share with friends. So if that's something you're into, Kennebot has it. It's a feature I didn't expect to pretty much ever see. Um, that said, what do we get if we pay for premium? So if you get a donor plan, because it's considered a donation, you can play live Twitch stream audio. You can play music in a stage channel for a large number of people. You get 24 seven mode, you get access to audio filters. I've honestly never seen anybody use audio filters, but if you do, they have it. And then you get premium support faster than the average person who might have to wait on their support server. And then you also get access to a fancy dashboard. Uh, I'm guessing this blurred out thing is trying to say web player, but I'm not entirely certain. It's currently blurred out unless you pay for it, but that's that's kind of my gist. If I click donate, what does it do? It takes you to Patreon, okay. And so one server is $5 a month, two servers is $8 a month. Okay, good, good to know. Um, yeah, I think the one thing I would say is if, a, if sessions are gonna become a one major selling point for this bot or they want it to be, maybe explain what it is a little bit better and like why you'd care. Because I, I was like, oh, what's a session? Is that like a playlist? Because some people have interesting ways of saying playlist without saying playlist. So I have one last question before we get out of here. Does this bot superfluously play YouTube links? It doesn't. Smart. Okay, that's been a while since I've actually had a bot that properly refused to play music from YouTube. A lot of them still do because they're based off of like the same template. But they actually removed that and expanded the support to music from other platforms. So good for them. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will put a link to the Kennebot website in the video description below. It plays music. There's not a lot else to say about it. If you want to pay for it, there's a couple other features that it'll unlock. But for the most part, it's free. It's all free. But if you use these bots a lot and you want them to stick around, it's probably a good idea to give them some money or to subscribe or whatever they want um, because you're using it. And if you use it a lot, I mean, that's only fair. It costs money to run servers. So that'll be it. Have a good one, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.